السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وعلیکم السلام ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ How are you? I'm good, how are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm fine. What is your name? My name is Shamir. Shamir, okay, Shamir. Okay, what's your age, man? I'm 10. Oh, you're 10, good job, man. Okay, so... Uh, okay, is your sister sitting beside you? No. No. Apparently, right. her lesson is um, later. Ah, yeah, okay. So, Shamir, in which grade do you study, man? Um, well, I graduated from fifth grade a few days ago. Oh, congratulations. So technically, I'm in grade six. MashaAllah, that's great. Congratulations, man. All Thank right, you. Shamir. Okay, Shamir, what is your favorite subject? Um, I like math. Oh, you like math, MashaAllah. Many of my students, American students, they like math very much. So, what do you want to become when you grow up? A doctor. Oh, a dermatologist. A oh, mashallah, that's great. All right. Okay. By the way, can you see my image? Yes. Uh, and can you see the screen also? Yeah. All right, that's great. Okay, Shamir, just uh, let us create a... separate folder for you. Mm. Here you go. All right. So Shami, do you know what is the meaning of Tajweed? Yes, Tajweed is like the way you read the Quran. If you read the Quran with like an American accent, the way I'm talking right now, mm -hmm. that's not good Tajweed. Mm -hmm. But if you read it with like, you know, meaning and expression, that is good tajweed. Yeah, good job. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Have you ever studied this before? Um, yes. Okay, from where? Um, in Sunday school. Ah, in Sunday school. Okay. So actually, to be a more accurate or to be more specific, tajweed is the science of how to pronounce the Arabic words properly so that the meaning of the words do not change. So this is what Tajweed is all about. Uh, okay, so all right, first of all, can you read it please? Read it for me, yes. rules of reading, yeah. One, do not look here or there. Look at the screen. Two, read loudly. Don't read in a low voice. Three, read slowly. Don't read fast. Four, whatever you read, keep it in mind too. Five, do the assignments daily. Yeah. All right. So now we will uh, just recognize different parts of the mouth through this diagram and uh, so that we are able to pronounce the Arabic uh, letters properly and so that we could realize and uh, recognize that from which place each and every alphabet is going to be read. Are you getting my point? Yes. All right, that's great, mashallah. All right. So first of all, this is the upper lip, what it is? It's like, um, well, it's, like... It's the have, upper lip. You have to repeat yeah. after me just. Upper lip. Okay. <laughs> upper lip. Yeah, good job. And this is the lower lip. What it is? Lower lip. Good job. Okay, these are the upper teeth. What it is? 
upper teeth. Yeah, these are the lower teeth. What it is? Lower teeth. Yeah, this is edge of the upper tooth. Okay, this one is the edge of the upper tooth, and this is back side of the upper tooth. Got it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there are two sides of the teeth. One is the edge. Second is the back side. Okay, this bumpy area, it is actually the gum of the upper front teeth at the back side there is a bumpy area i call it the hill what do i call it the hill yeah good job okay this is the tongue what it is the tongue yeah and this is tip of the tongue what it is the tip of the tongue yeah good job this is the middle tongue what it is the middle of the tongue yeah good job and what is this lower tongue the lower tongue yeah good job does your room have a roof yes so this is roof of the mouth what it is the roof of the mouth good job this one is the throat this is the top throat the middle throat and the lower throat got it yes all right good job all right Please place your finger here in the middle of your throat where there is the bone. Can you feel the bone here? Yeah. Yeah, this one is the middle throat and this is the reference point from which we can determine the top throat and the lower throat, the position of the top throat and the lower throat. Are you getting my point? Yeah. All right. Good job, man. Good job. All right. Please read it. We don't use force in soft letters. Hard letters are read with force. In heavy letters, there are there is an aw sound. Light letters don't have the aw sound in them. Good job. Okay, this alphabet is called Aleph. What it is? Aleph. Yeah, good job. This one is Ba. What it is? Ba. Okay. Ba is soft and light. What do I mean by that? By soft, I mean that we are go not going to uh, press our lips too hard. We are not saying ba. We are going to say it very softly, gently, ba. And it is a light letter. What does it mean? There are two types of letters. Yeah. There are like go on. heavy letters yeah. and yeah. light letters. Yeah, yeah. Heavy letters are like red with force and light letters are just like no no carried. no 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 there are actually soft letters are not are just read normally and hard letters are read with force whereas oh. light letters don't have the aw sound you know the english word aw a w e aw yes. so in heavy letters there is an aw sound in them light letters don't have aw sound in them so there these are four types of things or four types of characteristics which you need to consider in mind when you are dealing with Arabic alphabets. So first, we don't use force in soft letters. Hard letters are read with force. In heavy letters, there is an aw ah sound and light letters don't have an aw ah sound in them. Got it? <laughs> so ba is a soft letter as well as a light letter. So we will not use force in it and there is no aw ah sound in it also. Okay, now this letter is called ta. What it is? Ta. Ta. Okay, ta is also a soft letter and a light letter. There is, we will uh, be pressing the tip of the tongue at the hill area. At this point. The tip of the tongue will be pressing at this point, but very gently, softly. And there is no aw sound in it. We will not say it ta. It is ta. So this one is ta. The previous one was ba. And this one is ta. Do you think that ba looks like a boat? What do you say? Uh, yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Okay, and there is one dot at the bottom. And ta also looks like a boat. But it has two dots at the top. So ba and ta are both brothers. Are you getting my point? Yes. Because their shape is similar. That is why they are like brothers. All right. Okay, the next alphabet is tha. Try to say it tha. Tha. Yeah, good job. Tha is also soft and it is a light letter. There is no aw sound in it and we will not use force. Now, the tip of the tongue will be touching at the edge 
of the upper front teeth. So, this is tip of the tongue and here at this point, it will be touching very gently, softly. Tha, try to say it. Tha. Tha. No, not tha, but tha. Tha. Yeah, that's it. Good job. Tha. Tha. Repeat tha. after me. Tha. 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 Yeah, that's better. That's better. Okay, you, you have to be careful not to say sa. If we say sa, it will turn into seen. That is a different alphabet. And we can also not uh, call it ta because ta has only two dots at the top, whereas it has three dots. So ta is a different alphabet. This one is sa. Sa, the tip of the tongue is going to touch here very gently, softly. We have to barely touch it. You must not press it too hard. You can consider eating a nice... Do you like ice cream? Yes. Yeah, you can consider whenever you are reading soft letters, especially letter the letter sa, you can consider as if you are licking an ice cream and it is melting in your mouth very softly, warmly. So this is sa. Try to say one more time. Sa. Sa. Yeah, sa. Okay, so the reason why I make you repeat the alphabets is that repetition is the mother of skill. The more we repeat, the more better we will uh, get on it. Okay? All right. All right. Now this alphabet is called Jim. Say Jim. Jim. Okay. Shamir, have you ever seen a Jeep? Uh, yes. All right. Oh my God. My drawing is not so good, man. Don't worry about it. So J, E, then again E, then again P. If we replace the P of Jeep with an M, it turns into Jeem. What does it turn into? Jeem. Yeah, Jeem. Good job. So Jeem is also a very easy letter. It is a soft letter and it is a light letter. There is no aw sound in it. All right, I remember so, it because it looks like letter J. Yeah, it looks like a letter J. Good job. Okay, this one is letter called Ha. Say Ha. Ha. Yeah, good job. MashaAllah. Ha comes from the middle throat, from the bone. And it is as sharp as a sword. Have you ever seen a sword? Not a real one. Not a real one. Have you ever seen a knife? Yes. Yeah. So, the letter Ha is as sharp as a knife or as a sword. It is very sharp, which means the ha sound is very sharp. So, we have to put pressure at the middle of our throat. So, that is the letter Ha and it is a light letter. It does not have any O sound in it and it is a sharp letter. Alright, so Jim and Ha are both sisters because the shape of them is the same. The only difference is the dot. Jim has a dot in the middle, whereas Ha does not have any dot. All right. So the next letter is Ha. Try to read it. Ha. Yeah, Ha. Ha comes from the top throat. It is a hard letter. Number one, we have to use force at the top of the throat. Number two, it is a heavy letter. It has the A sound in it. Ha. A. Are you getting my point? Yes. So all of the heavy letters will have the aw sound in them. So the first heavy letter we have learned so far is the letter ha. And it is a scratchy letter. There is a kind of a scratchy sound like this. Have you ever heard the name Khan like Imran Khan or any other Khan? Yes. That's yeah. my mom's last name. Yeah. So in the in the word Khan also the kh sound is there. So this is the sound which we need to produce when we are going to read this alphabet. So this is Kha. Say Kha. Kha. Yeah, good job, man. Good job. Kha. The A sound is in Kha. All right. Would you like to sing a poem? I will read a poem for you. Okay. 
Hmm, let's find the point. Let's find the point. Where is the point? Uh, here it is. Hmm. You don't show your face to me. Are you shy? Um, no, I don't know how. You have to turn off your cam. Are you on your laptop? Yes. You can turn on your cam like this. On the top, there will be an option. Oh, yeah. Can you see me now? yeah, 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 yeah. Now I can see you. Now I can see you. All right. Shamir. Uh, let's open it up. All right. So first of all, I will sing, then you can, later on, you can repeat it, okay? Hmm. This is the letter Aleph. 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 Aleph is a letter that looks like one. Standing on its feet, top to bottom. Aleph does not eat too, too much. It is very smart, 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 smart. Aleph is a light letter without all sound. It needs other letters to be read, read. It needs other letters to be read, read. This is the letter Aleph. 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 Say Aleph! Aleph. Yeah. Now, can you please read this for me? This is the letter Aleph. 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 Oh my God. This is not the way how you sing a poem, man. Come on. Come on. Add some music in it. Can you do it, it again? Yeah. This is the letter Aleph. 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 Add some tune in it, man. This is the letter Aleph. 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 Hmm. Aleph is the letter that looks like one oh standing my on God. its feet. Top. You, you sound like a, a robot, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> slowly, man. Slowly. Aleph standing is the letter. Look, look. Aleph is a letter that looks like one. Like this, man. Come on. Try it. Aleph is a letter that looks like one. Standing on its feet top to bottom. Aleph does not eat too, too much. It is very, very, it is very smart, smart, smart. Aleph is a, is a light letter without all sound. and needs other letters to be read, read. This is the letter Aleph. 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 Say Aleph. All right. This is the letter Ba. 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 Ba is a letter which looks like a boat. Ba is a letter which looks like a boat. It has a line with one dot at bottom. It has a line with one dot at bottom. If we add another ba with the ba, then it becomes my ba ba. Ba is a light letter without all sound. Ba is a soft letter. Don't say it hard hard. This is the letter ba. 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 Say ba. You ba. say. Yeah, good job. Okay, now you sing it. This is the letter ba. 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 Ba is a letter which looks like a boat. Ba is a letter which looks like a boat. It has a line with one dot at the bottom. It has a line with one dot at the bottom. If we add another ba with the ba, then it becomes my ba ba. Ba is a light letter without all sound. Ba is a soft letter. Don't say it hard, hard. This is the letter ba. 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 Say ba. 
All right, good job. This is the letter ta. 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 Ta is a light. Ta is a light letter ta ta ta. Ta is the big brother of Baba. Ta also looks like a boat with two dots on top top top. Ta is a soft letter with no force. It has a wide mouth with no nose. Ta. This is the letter 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 ta. Say ta. Ta. All right. Good job, man. Good job. I think that's enough for today. Okay. Now you can call your sister. Mama, can you go get Amina? She's coming. All right. Should I stay here? You can go if you need to go. No worries. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. How are you, Amina? I'm okay. Is your name Amina? Yes. Okay. What's your age, Amina? I'm eight years old. Oh, mashallah. So, in which grade do you study? Um, third. Third grade, mashallah. That's great. All right, Amina. Which subject is your favorite? Um, I guess science. Science? Oh. What do you want to be when you grow up? A doctor. A doctor? You also want to be a doctor. Good job. Yes. All right. MashaAllah. All right. What is the reason why you don't, why you want to be a doctor? Because my dad's a doctor. Oh. So you want... So you love your dad very much and you want to be like him? Yes. Ah, all right. That's great, mashallah. All right, Amina. So we will be learning today some of the Arabic alphabets, okay? So that okay. we are able to pronounce those letters properly so that later on when we start reading the Quran, it is easy for us to understand to recite the Quran properly in a proper manner so that uh, the meanings of the words do not change are you getting my point yes all right good job mashallah all right Amina uh, first of all we will just can you please read the rules of reading uh, do not look here or there Look at the screen, read aloud, and don't read in a low voice. Read slowly and don't read fast. Whatever you read, keep it in mind too, and do the assignments daily. Good job. All right, Amina. So, this is image of the mouth. We will just uh, remember some of the parts of the mouth so that it's easy for us to recognize different places from where each and every alphabet is going to be read so that we can read them properly. Are you getting my point? Yeah. Okay, so this is the upper lip. What it is? The upper lip. Good job. And this one is the lower lip. What it is? The lower lip. Good job. This one is the upper teeth. What it is? The upper teeth. These are the lower teeth. What it is? The lower teeth. Yeah. All right, now, this one is the edge of the teeth. What it is? The edge of the teeth. And this one is the backside of the teeth. What it is? 
the back of the teeth? Yeah, uh, so, so a tooth has two sides. First the edge and the back side. You have to keep that in mind. All right. Mm -hmm. This one is the actually, you know, uh, the gum of the upper teeth. And I call it the hill. What it is? It's the gum. Yeah, it's the gum, but I call it the hill. What do I call it? The hill. Yeah. All right. This one is the tongue. What it is? The tongue. Yeah. This one is tip of the tongue. What it is? The tip of the tongue. And this one is the middle tongue. What it is? The middle of the tongue. Good job. This one is the lower tongue. What it is? The, the lower part of the tongue. Yeah. The room in which you are sitting, does it have a roof? Yes. Good job. So this one is roof of the mouth. What it is? The roof of the mouth. Brilliant. Good job. This one is the top throat. What it is? The top throat. Yeah, and this one is the middle throat. What it is? The middle throat. And this one is the lower throat. What it is? The lower throat. Good job. MashaAllah. What it is? What's the name of the this? The upper lip. Good job. And this one? Lower lip. MashaAllah. Good job. What about this? The, the upper teeth. Good job. And this one? The lower teeth. Good job. What about this? The tip of the tongue. Yeah. And this one? The middle of the tongue. Good job. This one? The lower part of the tongue. Good job. What about this? That's the roof of the tongue. Yeah. Roof of the mouth. Mouth. Yeah. What about this? The top throat. Good job. And this one? The middle of the throat. Good job. This one? The bottom of the throat. Bottom of the throat. Good job. Amina, can you smile for me? Can't see your face. Yeah. Can you smile? What type of smile is this? Come on. Smile properly, man. Full, 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 full smile. Yeah. Like this. Good job. Good job. Ah, okay. All right, Amina, can you please read it? We don't use force in soft letters. Hmm. Hard letters are read with force. Good job. In heavy letters, there is an aw sound. Yeah. And light letters don't have a sound in them. Good job. MashaAllah, you did it. Okay, this alphabet is called Alif. Say Alif. Alif. Good job. MashaAllah. This one is Ba. What it is? Ba. Okay, Ba is a soft letter, which means that we don't press the, our lips too hard. When we are reading this let alphabet, we don't use force in it. And it is a light letter. There is no aw sound in it. Got it? Yes. Yeah, good job. All right. Which alphabet is this? This is called ta. What it is? Ta. Yeah. So ba and ta are, have similar shape. So don't you think that ba looks like a boat? Yeah. Yeah, and it has one dot at the bottom. And ta also looks like a boat. And it has two dots at the top. So the difference is okay. the positioning of the dots and the number of dots. Otherwise, the shape is the same. So ba and ta are both brothers. Are you getting my point? Yes. So ta is a soft letter. We will place the tip of the tongue at the hill very gently and softly. We will not press it too hard. And it is a light letter. There is no a sound in it. This is the letter ta. What it is? Good job, Ta. Brilliant. Okay, now the third letter is called Tha. What it is? Tha. Tha. Okay, Tha is also a soft letter as well as a light letter. So, in the tip of the tongue will be touching at the edge of the upper tooth. Very gently, very softly. Do you like ice cream, by the way? Yes. So, Imagine that as if you are licking an ice cream and it is melting in your mouth. It is very soft. So this is the letter Tha. Tha. Now I will show you. Look. This is tip of the tongue. And here. He will touch it very gently, softly here. Tha. Say Tha. Tha. Good job. Tha. Sa. Brilliant. Sa. Ta. Sa. 
Alexa. Okay. We must not read it hard. It should not be it, it, the, the sound of the letter tha should not resemble the letter seen. It should be tha, tha, tha. tha. Yeah, good job. Good job. Mashallah. You did well. All right. Do you like poems? Let's, let's Do I like what? Poems or, or songs? Yes. Yeah, let's, let's sing a song, a letter song. Uh-huh. All right. First of all, I will sing, then you will sing after that, okay? All right. This is the letter Alif. 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 Alif is a letter that looks like one. Standing on its feet, top to bottom. Alif does not eat too, too much. It is very smart, 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 smart. Aleph is a light letter with an awe sound. It needs other letters to be read, read. This is the letter Aleph. 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 Say Aleph! Okay, now you sing the song. This is the letter Aleph. 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 Um, Aleph is a letter that looks like one standing on its top to bottom. Aleph looks does not eat too much, too much, too too much. It is very smart, 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 smart. Aleph is a light letter without an without an aw sound. It needs other letters to be read, read. This is the letter Aleph. This is the letter Aleph. This is the letter Aleph. This, this is the letter Aleph. Say Aleph. Good job. All right. This is the letter Ba. 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 Ba is a le Ba is a letter which looks like a boat. Ba is a letter which looks like a boat. It has a line with one dot at bottom. It has a line with one dot at bottom. If we add another ba with the ba, then it becomes my ba ba. Ba is a light letter with an aw sound. Ba is a soft letter. Don't say it hard hard. This is the letter ba. 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 Say ba. All right. Now you sing it. This is the letter ba. 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 Ba is a letter which looks like a boat. Ba is a letter which looks like a boat. It is. It has a line with one dot at the bottom. It has a line with one dot at the bottom. If we add another ba with the ba, then it becomes my ba ba. Ba, ba is a, a light letter without all sound. Ba is a letter. Don't say it hard hard. This is the letter ba. 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 Say ba. Good job. This is the letter ta. 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 Ta is a light letter ta ta ta. Ta is the big brother of ba ba. Ta also looks like a boat with two dots on top top top. Ta is a soft letter with no force. It has a wide mouth with no nose. This is the letter ta. 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 Say ta. You say ta now. Ta. Yeah. Good job. This is the letter tha. 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 Tha is a light letter tha tha tha. Tha is the brother of ba and ta. Tha has three dots on the top. It is red as very soft. Tip of the tongue touches softly to edge. Edge of the upper bunny teeth. 
Sa is nice, but there is no O sound. Sa is light, and my students are bright. Sa is the letter. Th this is the letter Sa. 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 Say Sa. Sa. Good job, Masha Allah. I have a question. Yeah, go on. How is how do you say Tha different than Tha? How do we like say? Like the one with two dots and then there's one with three dots. How are they different? <coughs> okay, how are they different? Good question. Very good question, MashaAllah. All right. I'll show you the difference. So, as you can see, in the letter Tha, the tip of the tongue is touching at the edge of the upper tooth. Got it? Yes. But in the letter Tha, the two dotted Tha, the tip of the tongue is touching at the, this hilly area. So, first of all, the difference is in the position. The tip of uh, the tongue, yeah, the tip of the tongue in Tha will be touching at this place, whereas the tip of the tongue in Tha will be touching at the edge of the upper tooth. Secondly, this is the letter Tha. The two dotted Tha sounds like this Tha. Okay? Now, the letter Tha, I do not want to write S-A here because then it will be pronounced as Sa, but this is not Sa. Because then it will turn into scene. That's a different alphabet. We will learn it later on. That's a totally different alphabet. But this is Tha. It should be softer, gentler. The tip of the tongue will be touching here at the edge of the upper tooth. So this is Tha. This is Tha, Tha. Tha, Tha. Tha, Tha. Can you feel the difference between two sounds? Yes. Good job. So this is Tha and this is Tha. So... I have no other choice but to reach T H A like in the in the in the word thought or the or thought. So that is similar to tha, but it's not exactly tha. Okay, so in English there is no uh, sound which can imitate the letter tha. In English there is no sound which can be similar to the letter tha. That is why I have no other choice. So do not confuse tha with the tha because of the English. Uh, words which I have chosen to use. Just remember the positioning of the tongue. So where have to we where we have to place the tip of the tongue in each and every alphabet, and automatically you will be able to pronounce it correctly. Are you getting my point? Yes. Yeah. Good job. So in the letter sa, the tip of the tongue will be touching at the edge of the upper tooth. Sa, like this sa. Just repeat after me. Sa. 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 Good job. And here. In the letter ta, the tip of the tongue will be touching at this bumpy area. So this is ta, say ta. Ta. Yeah, good job, man. MashaAllah, that's great. All right, I think that's enough for today. Do you have any questions? Um, no. No. Did you like the session today? Yes. All right, good job, MashaAllah. All right. So... All right, uh, Amina, inshallah, we will uh, meet tomorrow, okay? Inshallah. Okay. Yeah, wish you best of luck. Assalamu alaikum. Say wa alaikum as salam. Wa alaikum as salam. Wa alaikum as salam. Try to say like this. Wa alaikum as salam. Good job, mashallah. You're brilliant. <laughs>